Hello and welcome back to Maplewood Homestead. Today's video is going to be about identifying and treating mastitis in your goat. I'm going to show you a natural remedy, plus I'm going to teach you how to dose your goat properly using antibiotics. So let's get started. If you get your dough up on stand and you feel that there are hard places in her udder or one of side of her udder is swollen and hard and it's warm to the touch and maybe even her teats feel clogged and when you squirt it, lumpy or discolored milk comes out, she probably is on the verge of mastitis. Now, if she has a fever, it has definitely developed into mastitis and I'm going to tell you how to treat them both. If she is on the verge of mastitis, you can apply the following remedy all by itself without antibiotics. Now let's gather together the materials. You're going to need a quart of very warm water with two tablespoons of Epsom salts dissolved in it. Grab a soft rag and this will be your compress. Next, mix a quarter cup of coconut oil with two or three drops of lavender essential oil. Then lastly, you'll need to make a cup of bentonite clay drizzled with a little olive oil, then add two or three drops of tea tree oil and water to make a pasty mud. You're going to need some water and cloths to wash it off afterwards. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you milk her out completely. Next, you're gonna use a warm Epsom salt compress. Not only does the warmth of the compress reduce inflammation, but the Epsom salt does as well. Additionally, it draws out toxins. It is also an antibacterial. Now, massage in the warm coconut oil with lavender. Both the coconut oil and the lavender are antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. It not only penetrates through the skin into the tissue, it also reduces bacteria topically. Massage really well. Massaging the area helps to loosen up some of the blockages and this is vital. Lastly, apply the bentonite clay that has the olive oil and tea tree oil in it and let it dry on the udder. This mixture also helps to draw out toxins and bacteria. Once it dries, you can wash it off with a warm cloth. This is another chance to massage your udder. The great thing is none of these can harm the baby goat if you accidentally miss a spot. Afterwards, you can tell some relief is almost immediate because when I put her down, she allowed one of the babies to drink off of that side. If your doe has a fever accompanied with all those other symptoms, then you need to administer antibiotics as follows. If you have LA200, you're going to administer one cc for every 20 pounds subcutaneously once a day for five to seven days. Or if you have Nuflur, please administer three cc's per 100 pounds subcutaneously for five to seven days. The natural protocol may also be used while using the antibiotics. It'll help speed the process up. For this dough, we caught it just in time, so we didn't need to use the antibiotics. All right, I want you to notice while the clay is drying, Yesterday, this teat was three times the size of what it is now. It was so enlarged and so inflamed. And just by doing this, it's allowed the swelling to go down. And it looks like she has allowed them to suckle off of this, which is amazing. And they're not so much on this. So I'll come down later and make sure they're not now swipping, switching sides and neglecting this side. But very happy with how that worked for her yesterday. We hope this video has helped you. If it has, please consider liking and subscribing for more great content from Maplewood Homestead, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.